probably legendary uh, like Florida Ohio State 07 title game featured like so many awesome prospects and like future great NBA players like Al Horford, Noah, um, Mike Conley, obviously, you know, should have been Greg Oden. Um, but one of the prospects that popped the most to me that I didn't even know was, was in this game uh, was Corey Brewer, who I think went seventh in 2007 and just possessed a very unique skill set. Um, he filled a rare archetype of skill you know, of, of combining skills where on the offensive end, he was such a skilled advantage creator, uh, someone who was really able to separate off the bounce at will in a myriad of ways, and also someone who was able to impact the game as an off-ball defender. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I have any defense clips that saved on my computer uh, or in this video, but like he was a huge off-ball playmaker, constantly like making wild rotations and, and steals, and he was a bit of a gambler, but like he was certainly a plus impact prospect. Um, as we can see, or can see here, the amount of shake he gets on a lot of his moves is is very violent. Even though um, you know Brewer isn't the best at you know, kind of se you know separating with his quickness, you can see that like this isn't like the fastest explosion out of the dribble. Like the move is so sudden that he's able to create an ample amount of space that Greg Oden you know very easily gobbles up. Just th that level of shift is it, it's the kind of shift that just throws off defenders and throws off their timing um, and allows for space to be, sp for space to be created uh, basically all of the time where you know he can throw together a flurry of moves that not only um, is getting this primary defender but forcing a secondary defender to come help and he's able to find Joe Kim Noah uh, for an open jumper you know at the top of the free throw line. He was just so like jittery in his general movement like so, able to shake free of defenders, even on this, like, hard pound step back. Um, and the jumper was questionable. Uh, I think probably part of the reason he was never really able to stick in the league. Um, again, that he was just, like, never able to be a very good shooter um, and was never able to score um, at, you know, above league average true shooting, I think, except for, like, you know, a couple times in his career. So the shot was an issue. Um, but just the way he's able to create space, even after, like, fumbling that ball, um, it's so, so impressive. Just the shift, the, the ability to combine multiple moves um, in one kind of fluid motion, which just throws defenders off. Even if a player like Brewer doesn't have the most burst or, you know, isn't the most explosive you know, in the gaps, uh, being able to, you know, throw multiple very convincing, like, like wide covering moves. Like, his handle is, like, very good in, like, a big, uh, like, east-west space. Just opens up defenders. And is able to create, you know, pretty open looks and just kind of wide open touches. He he, he was like very dynamic as well as a spin move creator. Um, I say again, the advantage creation was versatile. It wasn't just his handle, you know, that was so sudden and kind of jittery, but his ability to kind of you know create separation with his feet um, and with his body. Like le you can see him leaning in here. Um, like look at that like body position. Like he's basically like almost like sitting like sitting parallel to the ground. Um, when he's able to spin into that, you know, wide open layup. And again, uh, this time with his dribble, uh, he was able to kind of bend backwards. Like, he was so flexible in his handle. It's kind of like Jordan Poole, like, honestly, with his ability to, like, move his whole body in, in like, any way he wants to, to create separation, uh, again, with a spin move like that. Um, but as we're kind of seeing, like, the scoring um, seemed to be pretty problematic. Like, he wasn't a great finisher. The, the touch wasn't great. He wasn't really scoring in, in the intermediate, and as we talked about, the, the shot wasn't amazing. There was some like off-ball athleticism and a little bit of you know movement shooting, and the shot certainly was versatile. But as we've seen, like even when you have um, these really impressive advantage creators, if they aren't able to push that advantage with either like high high-level passing or some scoring, um, then those players often have a difficult time. But like I had a hard time coming up with like a lot of prospects. And we'll say this later. Uh, a lot of prospects that like fit this like advantage creation plus off ball D mold, um, and like Leandro Balmaro is one of the ones I thought of, and also kind of like a cautionary tale of guys who can like really get into the paint um, and create advantages with their suddenness uh, and with their handle, um, but aren't really great at you know capitalizing those with with, with great finishing or pull up shooting or any intermediate scoring craft generally. Uh, whereas Bomaro was able to like, you know, consistently kind of generate these advantages, but even when he was able to generate those advantages, 
he just like really often wasn't able to, to convert them into points. And while he was able to pass out a lot, um, the passing wasn't like special or anything. Again, I mean, just to show that he was like a very impactful off ball defender. Um, I have a video on Bomaro, like an old one that I used to like edit and stuff, you know, wild. Um, that's like a lot more high production and, you know, probably way too optimistic. Um, so you can go watch that if you're, if you're interested. Donovan Mitchell is another one someone brought up, and I thought it was interesting as a guy who was able to create advantages with his handle. Um, again, it was more kind of like jittery burst north-south than more of an east-west approach from Brewer, where he was able to stop-start you know, multiple times in that one drive to create an open layup. And again, you know, like like uh, like Brewer and and like Bomaro were you know impactful defensive playmakers off the ball, and were able to generally just make an impact. Uh, defending off of the ball. And I think uh, Amin Thompson, who I've also done a video on uh, on this channel, which you should go watch, is, is, is like the newest example of this like um, extreme jittery separation, you know, perimeter advantage creation with the handle. Just like unbelievable, very, very special stop start ability combined with, you know, really impressive off ball defensive moments. So I would definitely recommend you go check those videos out. If you're interested, uh, but yeah, that's a brewer, someone who I think, you know, potentially uh, is someone who, like, if I were scouting at the time, I would have been in on as like a future star because of how awesome the advantage creation was, and I can be a sucker for that. Um, but he's had he, he had a pretty decent career, um, as did uh, Joe Kim Noah, who I didn't really have enough to say on for like a full video, but I wanted to show a couple of clips of. Like he was just such an awesome like high mover defender. Like, so good in this, like, hedge and recover role with his mobility and his communication skills and his agility. Um, it was just so comfortable moving with guards and especially with bigs. Um, just look how quick he flips and opens his hips and is able to slide, and I believe he blocks the shot. Uh, yeah, like, the, the movement with Noah was awesome. His, like, special micro skill was, like, this, like, kind of, like, high hands, like, high hedge deflection. Like, the, the defensive possessions with him and Al were crazy, like... He, you know, he, he shades over, forces the pass out, and is able to use his quick hands and agility to, to kind of, you know, bite on this deal. He doesn't end up actually getting the ball here, but Noah would so routinely disrupt, so routinely disrupt guards on hedges and plays like this with his quick hands, his dexterity, his agility, his instincts. Um, such, such a fun, smart player, uh, and, finish it, and finishes it off covering this pass as well. Um, just a little, little joke, Kim Noah, shout out. Uh, he was very fun as well. I just didn't have enough for a full video for him. 